The violent storm, accompanied by lightning and sudden gusts of wind, had caused significant damage in the morning, especially in Milan, where many roads were flooded and dozens of trees were uprooted, while two people were killed in the north of the country. The spectacular electrical storm, which peaked at 0400 has rendered many roads in Milan impassable, which is why this morning there was a sigmatic traffic problem. The storm, considered almost a cyclone by meteorologists, which affected northern Italy took their first victim Monday in Lisone, in the province of Monza, when a tree fell on the car of a 58-year-old woman going to work. While in the province of Brescia, a 16-year-old girl who was in the camp also died when a tree fell on her. The storm in Milan this evening has left several people injured by fallen trees. It has also caused severe damage to Milan's transport power network and several city points and depots have no electricity, while falling trees and debris on roads have blocked the line's normal route and ATM the city's public transport company reported. Tram, trolley bus and bus services are experiencing serious delays, ATM added, while tram service is currently very limited and metro services operate regularly. Meanwhile, the island of Sicily, whose temperature this week has exceeded 47 degrees Celsius, continues to be ravaged by severe forest fires, which this Tuesday morning even forced the closure of Palermo's airport for several hours. Due to the fire's proximity to the facility's perimeter, the fire has actually also approached several locations on the island. Firefighters had to cut several roads, as well as railroad lines. Local authorities also reported the death of a woman who was left by an ambulance immobilized by the fire. This is the second incident which, in just one week and coinciding with the high tourist season, has affected air traffic in Sicily. A few days ago another fire forced the closure of the country's fifth largest Catania airport.